Hey guys, this is Alex from MarketWise Asia and with me I have Bini Ong from Terra6. I want to say a hi to everyone, Bini. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Bini here. Thanks for inviting me, Alex, to yeah, this. Yeah, so uh, you know, this, is, this is a kind of um, you know, casual chit-chat session with Bini, okay? So she's going to answer some questions, I'm going to answer some questions as well. So I hope you, can, you guys can get some insights from our conversation, okay? Yeah, so once again, uh, thank you, Bini, for joining us on this you know, session over here. I think for those who don't know Bini, okay, I mean, I believe for those who have been following MarketWise Asia, you know, she has been on our uh, submit for, for many times already. And, you know, she's the founder of Terra Seeds and also the uh, trainer for a speaker for SGX Academy as well. So, you know, she has been in the market for, for many years, way before I traded the market. So once again, uh, a, a big warm welcome uh, for BD. Okay. Yeah. Hi, hey Alex. Your, your introduction makes me very old. <laughs> 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 yeah, because in fact, when I first started trading, I've already heard about you, you know, uh, uh, on the papers. I, I believe, no, I think way, way back, I think you did some ads on the papers as well. So I, I saw those ads and those were the days. Uh. <laughs> Uh, uh okay now i appear the papers in a very different way i yeah, appear as way uh, interview yeah, right yeah. correct yes yeah especially when there's a market crash or the market went up so much right uh, then i'll be there very often in the papers yeah so you you are the sought after speakers when big news big events happen in the market and a lot of people want to actually listen to your to your news okay and to your, your insights and analysis of the market as well. <laughs> yeah so uh yeah today you know just want to share with you guys you know about more about the uh wash and rinse you know pattern also the uh, setup that Bini always talk about in her webinars and in her sessions as well so let i will just tell you guys some some a little bit of a, a background of the wash and rinse actually when i when i uh i was with market wise okay i actually don't know what Bini was actually you know uh talking about you know what she's sharing about with the markets is until you know i get to invite her to our virtual summit and then i i roughly know what she is teaching about and one of the things that intrigued me is actually her wash and green setup so she called it the alien wash the toy the alien wash setup so prior to that i have totally no idea what it what it was but it just sounds very interesting to me because i don't know what, what bini is teaching now so then you know, invite her to the to the to the you know webinar the submit then i want to get more insights then i read hey actually this wash and rinse setup is actually very good i've never really you know uh heard people uh teach it you know or on twitter sh people sharing it. nothing nothing of this kind of uh, trigger setup so yeah so after that I attended her, her her course as well and nowadays you know most of my trigger entry into the market into the position be it stocks you know forex commodity etf etc i am using the wash and rinse trigger setup okay so today you know i'll let you know uh, bini uh, share more about, about her wash and rinse uh, setup so as well Oh, yes. Hi, Alex. Uh, let mm -hmm. me just share my screen here. Uh, this is a typical screen that I'm using. It's called the uh, dashboard. Uh, and um, let me just share with you the Forex site, right? Okay. Um, this is not the setup, but I just want to talk about a lot of problems when we look for trades, huh? is that we just doesn't know which are the trades that uh, we we are interested to take or which are the trades with opportunity. Um, so apart from focusing on setup, I focus a lot on finding trades. That means able to find the trades opportunity, right? Mm. Uh, I built this as like a scanner. So imagine you can scan the entire universe of stocks and to find trade opportunity. Uh, that's the whole idea here. Um, and I built this scanner and so that every... Every moment there's a trade opportunity, I'd be alerted. That means it will push to my mobile phone, it will send an email to me, or it just light up and flash up in this uh, dashboard here. Uh, 
Like for example, this is live uh, at 1 p.m. just now. We have a uh, you know alert right into a potential trade, uh, which is somewhere around here, which is uh, the dollar versus cat, right? So that's uh, light up in yellow. Okay, so that's uh, what I aim to do. But let's talk about the trade here. Uh, in my setup, I focus a lot on uh, wash and means. What's the meaning of wash and means, right? Uh, let me just explain that with one of the recent trades uh, that was done. And this was um, Pao Yen. So what is Pao Yen? Pao Yen means is the currency of uh, UK versus the Japanese Yen. Uh, this movement has been really very nice because it moves up very nicely uh, in this manner here uh, and it's almost like non-stop, right? Okay, what's the background of pound versus yen? And this is where I encourage uh, students not only to focus on one instrument but to have a variety of uh, assets uh, to trade because there are some which are tougher, some which are easier. Like for example, now we have the run in AI. Uh, perhaps the run might just feasor for a while and then we can move on to the next uh, best trade here, which is essentially UK seeing high inflation still. Therefore, they are looking to increase their interest rate. And for Japan, they still doesn't see the inflation after so long. So they are still keeping the interest rate low. Uh, Naturally, because of this uh, movement here, it's natural to to go a long pound versus yen, which is to buy pound versus yen, right? Okay, so I focus very much into colors. Uh, for example, when we see a cluster of colors, let's say, you know, you focus this one here, which is... Um, green in color essentially the higher time frame is asking us hey look huh, we can be looking to buy and uh, in that higher time frame where when we are buying we want to look for a sort of an opportunity or correction in the lower time frame and this is where this correction is coming in which is in the happening in the lower time frame uh, let me just uh, share a little bit more on how wash and means work for example in this pair here uh, you know, the trend has been very much uh, up and we are tapping into a temporary weakness. Let me explain, for example, what I mean by temporary weakness. Okay, uh, let's assume that this is a support level. By right, um, in the textbook, you will know that when price moves down to the support, you will have a rebound and you start to uh, buy, right? Okay, but in reality, a lot of time because of automations, um, all those uh, big players and especially AIs, they can see this support very clearly. In fact, they can see multiple of support, right? That happens historically very easily. So what they do is that instead of supporting at the known support that you usually will get from textbook, right? It would just flush all the way below support and this would create what we call a washed um, movement. That means that price would likely to wash your stop loss or price would likely to penetrate the known support, right? Now, this will attract a lot of people to go short, but at the same time, a lot of trades will be stopped out. Now, what we do is that we wait for price to stabilize all right and for a lot of stops to be flush out and to trade on price when it goes up okay so this will become your reams bar here so that's essentially the wash and this one would be a rinse okay now let's take a look at this trade here right um this was a uh power yen and our entry was at this place Okay. Now, where is the wash bar? See this color that is orange? Uh, that would be a place where the market purposely flushed a trade down to clear multiple support because there was a known support here, right? See that? Okay. Then what we do is that we don't care what happens inside here, all right? Uh, as long as we don't make the losses and when price again flip back up at this long bar here, uh, that's where it's our entry and we call this a rinse. And all this is nicely done because we trade in uh, the, the higher time frame, but we execute in a lower time frame. And that's where a lot of trades, we can get this uh, like a $700 point movement. So we apply this whether in the Forex or in the stocks or in indices, etc. cetera, uh, that can be applied. So this is essentially what wash and means is about. Hmm. Uh, so Bini, can I just ask you, right? So just now you mentioned about the 
weakness in the uh, market. So let's not talk about the, the, the watch and win setup first. How maybe you can share with us, you know, how you determine, you know, whether the market is actually in a temporary pullback weakness or is it really into getting into a reversal? Sometimes I, I find that, you know, some people ask me or some traders ask me, how do you know whether, you know, this is just temporal market will continue to move high already you know, the moment I enter it become a real reversal <laughs> and then from uptrend then to a downtrend yeah yeah Alex uh, this one is a problem and I think that we overcome we, we overcome this problem right with what we call the boxes okay um, if you look at my chart here right uh, it's natural to assume that we want to go long for pound yen uh, because the boxes are uh, it's also something that i created uh, let me just illustrate you know the boxes here all right so these boxes uh, is not only support resistance that means not only that we use it to generate to see support resistance right but we are able to sort of quantify um the support resistance uh, that we see Okay, so let me just mark this one down, right? Now, uh, each of the box here is a week, okay? And uh, around this point here, okay, it's around this point here, somewhere around here, right? You can see that the box uh, actually closed above the one week high and the two weeks high, okay? So we quantify and say that this is a very strong close. Okay, because then just by having uh, one week, it can beat the last two weeks high. Okay, so naturally, uh, that would be a place for us to go long, right? And um, because of this strength, we would not assume that it is a reversal. That means it's going to come down. We will assume that because it had already beaten uh, so many boxes high, all right? And that would be a chance for us to continue the movement to go up. Okay. Um, perhaps right, I just give you another one more example. Okay. The movement of oil, okay, which is uh, something that I trade very often. We know that, for example, the movement of oil right, uh, has been actually going down. So you see that it is uh, heading down here. Okay, So this is the movement of oil is going down. Uh, just a glance. Okay, If you take a look at all these boxes here, so there are so many boxes I mean, if I were to count, we can count together. Probably that's about 10 plus or 20 plus, right? So we have a resistance that's about 10 weeks or 12 weeks or 15 weeks. And that would be very, very strong. Uh, in this case, what happened uh, was that the market tried to trick a lot of people okay because there are multiple support and resistance level here right it tried to trick a lot of people um, by doing what activity okay so this is a typical uh washed activity here so this was like a huge up okay you see that so this was that huge up along this very strong resistance here okay but because with that boxes with that confident that you know it's like 12 weeks of support or resistance right so we naturally will not assume that it's going to break up okay. we naturally would take the path of least resistance and, and this is very important for uh to be to be profitable to be profitable you take the path of least resistance and that's where our trade came in to go short at this bar and lasted all the way to the bottom and why 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 would we think that you know it's all the way to the bottom because it's very clear we have the boxes that's offered let me just show you the boxes all right, that's offered as a support level here. So we short at the top and we close at the bottom. It's just like that. Um, and, and I guess that uh, a lot of traders always fail to see support resistance. But I think the key thing is not only that we see support resistance, we must be able to quantify the support resistance. Mm, okay. So yeah, I hope you guys have a better understanding on how, how Benny... Uh, see the support and resistance but judging from the let's say let's move on to some of the equities market right now so like recently you know ai you know news is in the rich for example and you can see that some of the stocks like for example like nvidia and all this right they their, their price uh movement to me uh, to me it seems a bit parabolic so uh at, do you have any way to quantify or at some time you know uh when there's a pullback do you think that it is really a reversal or or, or you just follow your rules, you see a wash and rinse pattern and you just go go along. Yeah. 
or you think that you know, uh, mm. it's a bit parabolic already, then you know, uh, it, it, it could come down or it might not come down. Then how, how do you like uh, decide uh, when to actually you know, go long or stay away from the market or you see a setup, you know, just go for it? That kind of thing. Uh, in fact, that NVIDIA, for example, NVIDIA, it was something that we, I didn't spot, but um, during gen period, before the whole AI uh, stocks went up, all right, I've covered on Apple, I've covered on Microsoft uh, to my community to highlight that there could be a long opportunity. All right, mm -hmm. same thing all using uh, Wash and Wins. Uh, let me just pull out the chart here to show it to you. But maybe that later on, Alex can also share with the audiences, right? How I'm sure that you guys are very interested on in how he used because he kept talking about Wash and Wins on his trade. So perhaps later on, after I've shared, I'm just going to ask him to share his trade with you so to find out his secret because he, he is uh, right now. Uh, Trying to dig into my secret, Alex. Yeah, you know, just... all of us have different way of trading. Okay, so so I hope to get more from you, uh, because you are the seafood. Okay? <laughs> just let me get the setup. All right, so this is a chart on Apple. Uh, perhaps that maybe Alex can let me know uh, where do you think we long Apple? I mean, around what price? Maybe your eager eye can help us to see the wash and wins pattern. This is a weekly chart, right? So Yeah, this is a weekly chart. Uh, maybe around March that period? Mm, okay, March that period we in fact, in did fact, early, have early of the year, start of the year. I I can spot opportunity and also March period. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So as I explained, right, um, our trade is very very visual, uh, meaning that we rely on the boxes to tell us, uh, you know, a support resistance, uh, how many um months already it's there was there. But I just wanted to do um, maybe a bit of a uh, replay to to explain the logic of uh, wash and means, right? Okay, so I have here, which is a weekly chart. Perhaps the people will think, hey, look, hey, Bini, why are you using weekly time frame? Because weekly time frame is uh, like a very long time frame. Okay, uh, if there's something that you want to get out from this session is that you want to catch uh, multi-baggers, then you want to fall back to look into the higher time frame. I'm, I'm sure that this is like a known fact, but this is really like a secret tools for all these uh, people who are trading out there, all right? Um, so with the boxes, one can find very easy uh, support level here. So this was a known support level. <laughs> and the other one was also another one more known support level here, right? And this one was a known support level. So we have a lot of support level. And um, if you can see the AIs, um, the automated um, traders, um, the fund managers, all can see these support levels. Uh, so what will they do along this support level? They might want to trick you, okay, by moving beyond the support level, okay, such as something like this. Okay, so this is the point where they, they flash the stops. And people are scared, you know, scared to say, oh, yeah, it broke a very strong support level. I should be ex exiting my trade. But if you look at the logic behind, when you are selling here, all right, you're just falling into the trap of others because you are just shorting or selling at the right low, all right? Um, what do you think, Alex? What do you think is the entry then? I uh, have to flash back, go back a the uh, wash line. Okay. Therefore, the entry is very simple. Okay. It has to wash up, right? Our wash yes. line. So this is our wash line here. Somewhere along, along here, we'll be looking for price to wash up right and and that's actually our entry but a lot of people didn't dare to do anything here in fact that they will they will fall into the trap all right so what we do is that we wait for price to to wash up control here 
okay all right and 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 that really essentially becomes our entry so this is our entry we are we entered around this place here about 133 dollars and we also entered again at about 135 dollars all right and a natural place for us to target our uh, exit would be near this boxes high here so that's about 176 okay and and the rest would be history because you look at how nice right apple really moves up okay so that's the movement of apple and uh, if you apply this to nvidia you get the same results okay because with nvidia um we also tr we also spot the watch i mean it says that i never make a call to the community Let's, let's watch this, uh, how it goes, right? The Apple hit our target and actually went um, much higher. Mm. Yeah. How about you, Alex? Maybe you want to share a little bit of your trade. Uh, okay, so I trade multiple asset classes, so I don't just trade Forex. But in fact, Forex is not my main main uh, asset classes to trade. So I trade, uh, you know, equities quite a bit also. But I think one of the uh, most prominent trade that I did for this year, in fact, it's not, it's not equities or even Forex. It's actually the crypto market. It is actually uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, okay? So maybe oh, I can share, share with you... Um, Bitcoin. Let me share my screen. Huh? Okay. So this chart is Bitcoin. So this is the uh, weekly time frame. So every single bar that you see here, it is one week over here. So I just want to mm. uh, zoom in to this period somewhere around this period over here. Okay. So towards uh, the late uh, last year and early this year over here. So I'm not sure whether you, you actually, you know, uh, engage in some social media uh, platform like Twitter, that kind. And in fact, if you were on Twitter last late last year, they were actually pretty uh, bearish. So this is a very typical uh, horizontal support and resistance line that you know uh, most traders you know lah. So this is a very typical one horizontal support. Lah. So this is the level that the the traders are looking at, and somewhere around here they are they are extremely bearish on the crypto market they think that you know crypto oh you know it's going to drop to you know uh, ten thousand that kind of, okay a lot more that kind Plus of there's story. a lot of bearish news out there yeah, that's always happened you know like that yeah yeah so a lot of bearish news so people were expecting so they, they were seeing that oh okay so ah okay so at that point in time i try to zoom in bigger so over here people see also a very typical setup you know all this is this is the uh, Flat pattern, bear flag. Okay, this is the pole, and this is the this is the flat pattern, flat pattern, right? Are uh, you expecting mm. another leg down? That kind, but it it didn't. So, if you know about the wash and rings as well, okay, um, you know that this is also a this is also a wash bar over here. So it break the previous mm. week low, okay. So mm. this is the uh wash bar over here. So I was expecting price to go down lower that, but it didn't. After hovering for a number of weeks, okay, in fact, it flashed back up again. Uh, so this is one wash and read. Another typical one is that like, this is a false breakout. So people are expecting this one to, to break, but it did so it break, it flashed back up again. So at that point in time, at that point in time, okay, I actually, you know, uh, went long in Bitcoin at about 20K. So maybe to some, some traders, right, uh, it seems very scary. Wow, this is a very huge bar up, you know, from 17,000 to 20,000. And, uh, you know, uh, have I missed the boat already? That kind. But, you know, to me, is that, you know, this is this is after uh, many months, uh, many weeks of, you know, like kind of a ranging pattern. I don't think the market is just stop at there and then come back down again. Now. So I think there, there could be more upside. So uh, based on the watch and reins, the force breakout, then I took a long over here. And, in fact, I traded. I traded this uh, not on my personal account. So this is more of an institutional level account. So yeah. So this is one of the one of the best trade I done this year. <laughs> yeah. So I took institutional from, account. <laughs> yeah, institutional account. Yeah. So yeah, I traded for another firm. So this I took profit at somewhere around twenty twenty seven thousand. Yeah. Mm. So I write. I, from, I think this is a. 
this is a typical uh, wash and rinse setup. Mm. Yeah, I want to mention one of the key things about wash and rinse when I design that. Uh, because I also do a lot of uh, programming work, a lot of system design, a lot of uh, all this uh, AI-related job, right, for the institutions. Um, of course, I can't review what's inside there, but I can assure a lot of you guys is that they can see your levels. And when they can see your levels, they can do wonderful things around that level, including to create all this fake false move. Of course, there are moves which are not fake, right? But when it cluster around the very strong levels, very known levels, right? And, and they will add in with a lot of market chatters, a lot of news out there. And you find that wash and rinse are typically a long bar that's a that's in the direction and suddenly you, you flip the other side with another long bar. So this long bar is naturally very, very necessary. Uh, this is how the market works and this is the difference between if you are trading 20, 30 years ago versus you are trading now. Yeah, Yeah. so I, I find that you know nowadays uh, breakout method don't really work that well. So but personally, I also don't really trade the breakout method. So like I mentioned before, Nowadays, a lot of these uh, entries, right, trigger entries, I realize on the uh, wash and rinse uh, pattern setup as well. Yeah, so maybe I can share, maybe you can share a, a few more personal trades as well. So in fact, mm -hmm. I, I told Vini that, you know, I actually uh, went to Perth, you know, in, in the middle of May, so about 20th of May, so until the end of May. So I didn't really trade that. And subsequently, the, the indices actually climbed a lot higher. So I didn't want to chase also, so I stay off the equities market. But but before that, okay, I, I did trade some you know uh, equities and, and and stocks as well. So one of the maybe I can share with you one of the one of the uh ticker that I trade okay is an ETF. It is actually not very uh you know common. So one is is uh Vietnam Vietnam ETF. Okay, Bennett ETF. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, for those who have been following me, right, so you know that I use the the cloud and the uh the Ichimoku. I also follow you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, I think we all have different way of uh trading the market, lah. Okay, so uh okay, yeah. So you no, know, generally I want price to be above the central pivot range, or or, or at least above the cloud. Okay, so this could be also a bit discretionary, but you know, nevertheless, you know, I can see that you know it is the Vietnam ETF is forming a, a a basing pattern over here. Okay, all right, and then at this point in time, okay, somewhere around before I before I fly <laughs> before I flew to to Perth. Okay, so uh, you no, know, this was this was the uh the wash bar over here, and then all right, and then price flip back up again above the central pivot range that I actually uh, uh, took a long over here. And then I exited mm. you know, somewhere around here. So yeah, which is at the mm. prior uh, standard resistance level. So again, mm. how do I screen out for all these you know, tickers? You know, it is through a screener as well. So I input watch and risk as one of the uh, signal that, that I want to screen plus some of the other screen, screens like, wow, is it, is it in the uptrend? Okay, is it in a downtrend? Where is it above the pivot point and such? So I do screen for such uh, entry point and also uh, besides equities, also ETF and FX as well. Mm. Yeah. So cool. therefore, am I right to say that? Yeah, am I right to say that the wash and means, right, becomes like your entry, the way that you enter in the market? Yeah, or yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, it is the, I would say that, uh, ninety percent of the time, I will use wash and rinse to enter the market. So I know, I know what to buy really. So th now the issue is when to buy, when to buy. Mm. So the wash and rinse easily, you know, solve the uh when to buy issue. So I know once I see wash and rinse set up a trigger, you know, I can just you know just shoot it <laughs> and just execute my trade uh, without without I'm so uh, yeah. I'm so honored that you're using it. <laughs> Because I spent, uh, yeah. um, I spent maybe a lot of people didn't know, uh, you know, why wash and means it's called the alien wash, okay? Mm. Why aliens is inside? Because when I was doing uh classes, 
All right. Um, so a lot of students ask, how come you are so tun? How come you know exactly what's going to happen? I say, yeah, this is what I'm using exactly as it is as what I've taught you using the boxes, using the wash and rinse, using all those lines, right? But they just didn't believe that um, every time when I do my live session, this is I used to do my live sessions and we used to trade in the five minute and 15 minutes and one hour time frame when we were doing live together with the, with the students, right? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm doing exactly what uh, I've taught you and they don't believe. Until one day, um, they asked me again, do you keep anything to yourself? I said, no. Uh, the only thing that I kept um, is that the alien told me Okay, I said that the alien told me about this trade. Oh, they said, oh yeah, so is the alien who told you the trade. And that's why the alien wash came about. And, and this is the story behind the alien wash. <laughs> but are you, but to be honest, uh, I'm also a bit skeptical that, you know, you review everything. Uh. <laughs> do you uh, also, on the other <laughs> question, do you really keep some, you know, hidden ninja kung fu that you didn't review to anybody that kind? I, 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 I didn't though. Uh, but I, I realized that the only thing that people are not making money, all right, is that there are so many trades out there, all right. And uh, by the time that we saw the trade, like for example, Alex, you saw this VNM, right, which is the ETF. I didn't know about it. I said, Do you keep anything for me, Alex? No, you probably didn't because you probably used the same method. It's just that I didn't know about um, these stocks, uh, this ETF called VNM because I never happened to come across. But I traded, for example, the pound yen, the Aussie yen. Maybe the other people didn't know about it. So I emphasize a lot on tools. So whoever who learned from me, all right, they get the same set of tools I have so that they can be self-sufficient to find the trades themselves. Um, in the world, there are so many opportunities out there. Mm. We just need to be able to find them. Yeah. But aren't you afraid? I, I you kept know? the tools. Sorry? I kept the tools though. You that means that tools... Yeah, tools are given to my students uh, on a uh, renewal basis. So uh, I yeah, kept the tools. Of course, you know, if, yeah. if people enroll into your course and the tools, they'll get it. Lah. But, but aren't you afraid that, you know, as you teach more and more people, you know, when more and more people start to use the wash and rinse, that kind, okay, uh, you know, the effectiveness of wash and rinse will diminish. It's just like, you know, prior to that, maybe in the 80s or 90s, right, uh, you know, the breakup mm -hmm. method, you know, still works pretty well until like, you know, recent years, it seems doesn't have that edge anymore when you create breakout method, that kind. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that this is a valid concern, but uh, because as I said, right, I work a lot on uh, uh, programming, you know, strategy development, AI development for the big guys. So uh, in a way that I've not seen any changes, any method that can last me for 10 years, 20 years, uh, that I can continue to make the money, I'm happy enough already. Um, by the time that, yeah, it's good enough. By the time 10, 20 years, I probably have gotten the money and gotten the skill and, and, and that's it. Uh, we True, can we revise. So, you don't need to train anymore. You can retire already, right? <laughs> I actually tried retiring uh, about when I was 38 years old. Uh, mm. I, I tried to retire, but um, it's not, an, it's not an, an easy thing to retire because uh, it is boring. <laughs> I have not shared this with many people. Yeah, yeah you shared it before. Because okay. like, you know, you are boring, nothing to do. That's why you, you, you came back again. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe you share more of your trades, Alex. Okay, so maybe I can share uh, a few more trades. Uh. So I think the one of the more recent one, I since I, I, I put it down in my notes, right, is actually uh, natural gas, natural gas. So in fact, as I mentioned, I didn't really trade equities, you know, in, in June because I feel that it is it is a bit too extended. So I didn't really trade individual stocks. But like natural gas over here, natural gas and also wheat. Yeah, natural gas and wheat. Where is it? Natural gas... Okay, natural gas over here. So, uh, yeah, natural gas, you can see from the chart, it is in an extensive uh, downtrend, okay? Not surprisingly, because, you know, inflation has been down and all this, okay? And commodities has been down as well. But another setup that I like to uh, look at, it is this, you know, uh, force breakout, force breakout to the downside. Once again, it's very similar uh, to Bitcoin that I mentioned. So this is a very typical, you know, support, horizontal support resistance line over here. I'll draw a horizontal uh, line over here. So this was the prior, you know, uh, 
support okay support over here and then if on this bar over here there is this uh so-called what we call the bo uh, breakout bar over here you know but mm -hmm. you know price actually you know didn't continue to head down in the intended direction this is a breakout my friend so people expecting price to have another leg lower but it didn't it didn't so this is the uh become the wash bar over here you can see that on this bar price uh close below the prior low over here so this was the this was the uh wash wash bar over here yeah so on this day i actually you know went long again so this is a wash and wind spec up again so uh it takes some time it takes some time so you know on the first two days okay price actually you know have a, a minor pullback of course like a few naturally oh, ah, sien, ah. <laughs> but never mind you know <laughs> i just had my stop loss in place i just let it try to let let the trade run a little bit okay have some room to breathe okay and subsequently you know uh, i think two or three trading days ago uh, actually price actually flew up uh, that's where i exited my trade also this is also one of the uh, typical kind of uh entry setup that i would usually look into also yeah bread and butter trade uh, was break out with the wash and mm. wings as well yeah 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 in fact that you share this breakout uh perhaps that to the viewers maybe you know uh, they might be wondering, will Wash and Means be able to catch, um, to buy NVIDIA at 160 and then uh, and uh, to trade all the way to 400? Because uh, this trade here has the same pattern as uh, your net gas trade. So let me just share this screen here. All right, so this is an uh, Nvidia, right? Um, maybe you ask, is there a method for for us to enter somewhere around here? All right, or whether there's any method to enter somewhere around here? Okay, uh, what I what I like to point out all right, again is to always go to the higher time frame. All right, um, just clean this away. Okay, now when you go to the higher time frame. Okay, and uh, in, in this place here, see that there was a cluster of a support level. So this was that resistance level that becomes a support level here. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, A lot of people would think, you know, price to be supported. But uh, as I said, right, the AI, the fund managers, they are not only going to see this very obvious support, they are probably going to see another level of a support that's also underneath here. Okay, so this is another uh, support level which uh, can be seen, right? So people would probably just short inside this bar here. But in fact, that we can just wait for a wash and means. And where is that washed uh, bar? So this is the red color wash bar. And where's the rings bar? So this one would be the rings bar. Because along the way, uh, we will be drawing in a wash line. So this wash line is the line that is for us as a trigger. So in fact, that for NVIDIA, so this would be the monthly bar that confirms a wash and means into a, a support level and why is this similar to your net gas trade because for net gas i think that you your entry was somewhere around here i believe right and there yeah. was a few days of it coming down uh, that can be used as a re-entry right why is that so as i mentioned that's a support level here right so yeah. all these support resistance uh, are all seen so we have in fact right another one more entry into um, Nvidia at this place here, which is very typical of wash and means, right? Because it allows you to enter at the low if you are in a buy mode, and it allows you to enter at a sell if you are in a uh, sell mode. And after that, because of that nature of wash and means, there's a lot of stop out, there's a lot of uh, failure, there's a lot of re rejection, right? Priced a lot of time would just explode. So Two things in wash and means between your net gas trade and the Nvidia, they are all trading on that rejection mode, and when price move, it will just explode. Yeah. yeah. So in fact, if we drill down to a lower time frame, okay, actually wash and rinse is just a false breakout and reverse back uh, pattern. So we are in fact trading trading a false breakout pattern to catch those traders that are caught on the other side of the trade over here. 
Yeah. So hey, I, I think that it's yeah. not only uh sorry, mm. I think it's not only a false breakout because when in trading wash and means, especially when we trade in the uh, lower time frame, uh, mm. we do have a lot of spot supporting factors. Like for example, how do we fine tune to enter at the lower time frame? So we minimize our stop loss, we maximize our profit. So that's that's quite a lot of things to work out in the wash and means. Although that is difficult to explain in this session here, yeah. Maybe I can share uh, one more recent trip that I did. Also, also not equities, not stocks. It's also in the <laughs> okay. commodities market. Okay, so it is actually uh, okay. wheat, wheat. Uh, so something not so uh, common. So for wheat, yeah, uh, I didn't know you trade trade this kind of instrument, Alex. <laughs> I I trade also. So you no, know, it is wheat uh, again. A lot of commodities, you know, are in a, a downtrend. So it's very typical. You can see that below the cloud, below the central pivot range over here. So uh, I'm looking to, again, it is pretty much the uh, same setup. So we are hit, hitting into the support zone over here. And then this was the uh, last support. And then there was a, a, a force breakout over here. Lah, okay. And then price reverse back up. But, okay, but I didn't, I actually didn't spot this trade over here. Lah. In fact, I went in in the, in the uh, second pullback over here, which is somewhere around here. And I actually mentioned that in my Twitter also. One of the most disliked candlestick pattern uh, is the shooting star and the hammer for me. So the reason is because uh, shooting star hammer, these are how how would I say uh, over uh, how to say over taught in YouTube videos and all and all this. Mm -hmm. uh, tutorials like, you know, people always talk about you know uh, shooting star hammer all these are very typical candlestick pattern so when an amateur see a shooting star okay they naturally get very you know excited oh i see a shooting star there's a long tail over there okay it is time to go short because it is in a in a, in a downtrend <laughs> that kind of so i usually you know uh will not put my weight on the shooting star in fact i tend to go the opposite so i wait for the shooting star to come down a little bit further down so that to make sure that those who shorted are trapped and in this case you can see that this is actually the uh, wash bar over here okay because this was this, this was the prior low the low was over here okay yep rose over here so which which i know that you know those who shorted are really triggered and into the trade already okay so by right their expectation was that price will continue to come down like that but it didn't in fact price did a wash and rinse and flush back up again so like this come back down and flush back up again and another supporting factor is that it hit right smack into the central pivot range this is the three green dotted bar so it's acting as a hidden support zone also so two things are in my favor the wash and rinse and also the central pivot range also so on this day Okay, I actually go for a, a long over here. Yeah. And then I I'm not very greedy lah. So you no, know, uh, my risk to reward is one one is to 1.5. So somewhere around here, my stop is very tight. So around there I exited my trip over here. Okay, so in hindsight, I should just show more lah. <laughs> then I can get more profit. Mm -hmm. But eventually I'm happy with my trip. Lah. So you can see that this is a very typical uh setup that I always do, you know, force force breakout, you know, and then there's a wash and rinse you know, at the central people range uh, support zone. So, that kind okay mm. so maybe uh mini if if uh you are you're meaning right how will you trade the week is it exactly the same way that i would trade or what are the you know buy point or sell point that you would take yeah or in fact that one of the one of the way right that we traded uh, as after the wash and rinse had happened, that means after the rinse bar had happened, and then uh, we do a limit at uh, you know at the wash line. So this would be uh, very good for people who are how to say um, working or who are not there at the uh, um, at at the price to see it. All right? Why is that so? Because I talk about that I built all this alert system, right? Mm. So the alert system will be able to alert us into the wheat trade. That means we already would know that hey, look, uh, there was a trade on the wheat. Uh, we don't need to go and trade there immediately because not only that I built um, the alert system, uh, I also built right uh, this uh, platform which allows 
you know, us to put in uh, the robot to help us automatically trade. That means it's a robot that once you put it in, uh, you can define where you want to let it trade and it just open uh, the trade automatically for you based on your defined risk. So if you define that I want to lose like $200, you know, you just put it there. Once price hit that level or, you know, hit into the conditions that we want, you just automatically trade that for you. Just like Alex, you also mentioned, for example, you are not very greedy. You uh, can stay a bit longer to tap into the long bar, right? Uh, that was also something that I emphasized into our robot is able to trail the trade automatically for you and perhaps using the robot you might be able to capture that two mm. long bars that we saw in the wheat yeah I actually um, love automations uh, and it's not a very difficult task to do but I think that automations is the way to go because without automations uh, there's really no way that we can fight with the big guys as a retail, yeah, as a retail trader Without yeah. automation or without something to screen, I definitely cannot find all those. They, they, there are just too many, too many, you know, uh, stocks, equities, commodities to look into every single day. Lah. So we cannot, we cannot be staring at the screen every single minute. So we have other things to do, you know, <laughs> well, for our exercise. I, I know they love to exercise. <laughs> yeah, later yeah. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, you know, I, yeah. no, I like, I need to, you know, I'll take care of my kids, or you know, pick up my kids, you know, go for other things, and exercise as well. So it cannot be staring at the screen every single minute, every single day. Lah. So like what Bini say, uh, automation is actually very important. So it actually uh, have a dashboard for you to screen out the trade for you and also to manage the trade for you. Yeah. We try to automate mm. as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing that we are doing also is that uh, we have not only automations, right, but we have also daily coaching now in our program. Uh, as I'm talking here, my other trainers, they are running the coaching program uh, because this is also to help traders uh, who are not too confident to trade. Uh, because they, because a lot of people think that trading is simple. Actually, I think it is simple, but for beginners, it is not that easy. Uh, so for seasoned trader like Alex, you know, he will think that it's also easy for him to to look through all these trade at one glance. So we we just came up with this coaching hand holding program, uh, that we run every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for about an hour you can join anytime that you want you can uh, just ask questions to the trainer on the spot on things that we trade and especially we are looking at the market live so this is something where i encourage right people to do not only to know the setup but to also take the coaching program uh Bini, you want to share more of the offer that you have and how actually you know your potential students can take advantage of the coaching and offer that you have. Can. Okay, Alex, um, here is the place to my course. Um, let me just uh, talk about a little bit on the course. And of course, if you want to take this course, please use the link that I've inserted here at this place. All right, uh, click on this link and you get a lot of uh, very good value. All right. So first thing is uh, we have uh, $2,276 in value. Uh, what is that? All right. What is this $1,200 cash back? Now, the cost, which is called Tor Plus, all right, um, is uh, here we go. So this is the cost, right? So we have this uh, Tor Plus here. All right. This is selling at $1,200. Okay. What is included in this Tor Plus? Um, one is that we, we're going to give you the full strategy, whatever strategy that Alex and myself we are using. I don't hide anything. We just give it out to you. Not only that, all right, uh, you're going to receive a 12 months hand holding, all right, uh, that comes with the uh, course itself. Okay, so 12 months of hand holding, all right, and that 12 months of hand holding is worth $500. Plus, at the same time, if you take it right now, then we're going to have this $500 loss cover. Okay. So what is this loss cover about? This It means that um, your losses that you make during a 90 days trading period would be covered as long as it is less than $500, up to $500. Right. So with this all added up, right, you pay $1,200. Not only that, this $1,200 would be given back as a cash to you. 
Okay, so let me just ask you one question, Alex. Net, if you are looking at this program, net, huh, after you have gotten the cash back, how much do you pay then? Actually, zero, huh? nothing. <laughs> Yes, because you pay me 1200 and there will be a cashback of 1200 to you, right? Now, not only that, um, you have this $500 loss cover. That means your loss when you trade $500 would be covered. So it's not only 1002 it's 1002 plus 500 And how about the extra 576 As I said, right, we're going to give you that set of scanner, all right, and the robots and the indicators that you see, uh, whatever that I'm offering up here. So the total value is 2276 but end of the day, after the cashback, you pay zero. So at this point in time, I know what you must be thinking. You must be thinking, hey, got such a good deal, man. Is it a scam, that kind of thing? How can I be not paying anything and get so much courses, indicators, and such? Okay, maybe, maybe you have to address this uh, question, you know, why, why, why do I get such a good deal? Okay, um, let me just um, come down to this page here, right, where in terms of the uh, conditions, okay, what are the conditions, right, for this to happen? That means how do you qualify for all this, um, uh, you know, cash back, etc.? Okay. Uh, well, there's no free lunch here, really, but uh, every time when we trade, we need a broker. Okay, so what this broker will do is that they requires you to do a minimum funding, all right? Um, and the broker, via our long working relationship, they would be giving you that cashback of 1002 See the cashback as their marketing fee. Okay, because I could just receive this cashback myself, but I told the broker, hey, come on, uh, if you need to market, you need to spend marketing fee, right? Why don't we just give the marketing fee back to the students? Okay, so this is the arrangement here. So there is a need to make a minimum funding of sing dollar five thousand. All right, so there is a need to trade two standard lots and all these can be done in just three minutes of the time to meet the volume requirement and of course to purchase our costs okay um and just to highlight that they are also um valid period huh? for example uh the last round of promotion was until 31st of may uh, we managed to get it uh extended to 31st uh, 30th of june right uh, i know that this video will be broadcast uh, to some later dates. Um, and I hope that you can check back the website to see when um, the promotion will be until, right? So if you can, just get the promotion. We hope to extend this promotion as long as possible because then this is the way for you to get your free learning from me and to learn something that Alex is using. Yeah, because I heard from Beanie that because uh, she always has to know get in touch with the uh, broker and this kind of promotion is always reviewed in a month-by-month -month basis. It's not ongoing. So yeah, you know, once this uh, video is out, I'm, I'm not sure when it'll be out, but you know, hopefully before the 30th of June, you can still take advantage of this uh, promotion over here. And like what Vinny mentioned, right, there's no free lunch in the world. You are getting such a good deal is because, you know, uh, Vinny has a, a long working relationship with the broker and they are in fact, subsidizing for all these uh, you know, fees for you. But of course, you have to fund the account. And after funding the account, it is still your own money. It is in it, it is your own money. So, so you're not paying anything extra for that. It is all your own money. So I hope you understand that. Huh? Okay? Yeah, right. yeah. And, that's, yeah. That's what you say is very correct, Alex. Uh, mm -hmm. And one thing is that for whoever is watching this video, if you are interested to know the fundamental of wash and means, um, I mean, if you don't want to sign the course yet, then please go and take the first module because you see on the first module here, listed here, right, as $0. So this is the basis of wash and rinse. At least understand wash and rinse, you know, understand why sometimes you are washed out by the market and how can you uh, overcome this problem. Yeah, so even for me, I which I thought I have a number of years of experience in the market, I, I still get a lot of value from this uh, watch and risk. I'm sure if you are a newbie or an intermediate trader, you sure get a lot of value from this uh, course. Lah, okay. Yeah, that's, I think that is the 
best I can say, if you still believe, if you still don't believe me, I think there's nothing much I can say already because it really benefited me a lot. Huh? Yeah, from, mm. from a uh, you know, trader perspective, for those who have been following me in the market, you should know whether I really trade the market or not. I mean, yeah, from the way we discuss things, you know, share things, uh, you should roughly know whether we really trade or not. <laughs> not just some theoretical stuff, you know, I mean, you feel good, that kind of thing. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most important, most important, Alex, they mm -hmm. must click the link. Okay? Oh, yes. You use the link, you use the link here, then you get the benefit, all right? Because yeah. uh, uh, you need to click the link, then we know that, you know, you guys are coming from MarketWise Asia, uh, then, you know, we can arrange, uh, you know, many things together with MarketWise Asia because we, mm -hmm. are, we are working together and Alex is my best uh, endorser for Wash and Means. <laughs> Yeah, so if you are watching this video, okay, so just find the link somewhere around here or on the screen itself, okay, you should be able to find the link now. So just go ahead and check out the site and, and, and proceed and, and signing up with the Wash and Rinse uh, course as well. So I think uh, with that, I had a, a very enjoyable session with uh, Bini with you, okay, discussing some of the trades out there. Any any last words from you, Bini? Uh, no, I just thought that uh, you can look forward to more things because uh, not only we are coming up with uh, a lot of new tools, trading tools uh, in the FX, in the indexes, in the commodity, uh, we are also coming up with a lot of tools in the stock side. So this is something we are developing right now. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, thank you, Bini, for the uh, sharing today. So once again, you know, once you are inside, you know, the course, you know, we can also more hunt for more trades, okay? Profitable trades using the wash and rinse uh, setup. So, yeah, once again, thank you, Bini, for the uh, session. Have a good day. Thanks again. a lot, Alex. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.